Hey, it's Chris Allingham with the Virtual Weber Gas Grill. Spiral sliced hot dogs. They put a smile on the face of kids as well as adults. Now you might ask, what are the advantages of spiral sliced hot dogs besides the fun factor? Well, first of all, you get more crispy edges on a spiral sliced hot dog when you grill it. Second, a spiral sliced hot dog can hold more condiments and it can hold them better. The condiments kind of sneak down into the spiral grooves where they stay put. I think it's also easier to eat a spiral sliced hot dog, especially if you're using a larger diameter hot dog. The spiral basically segments the hot dog into bite-sized pieces, so it's easier for you to eat. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna to wanna to make a spiral sliced hot dog every time you have a hot dog, but for special occasions, you might wanna consider doing it. In my household, we do it on the 4th of July, and it's a fun treat for our guests now, when I make spiral sliced hot dogs, I like to use a jumbo hot dog. As you may know, hot dogs are getting smaller and smaller these days. It used to be that a standard hot dog was two ounces. They were eight to a package, so it was a pound of hot dog. Now they're down to 15, even 14 ounces. So I'm looking for a jumbo hot dog to make a spiral dog out of. I like to use these Hebrew National Jumbo Beef Franks. These are actually a three ounce hot dog. There's four to a package. 12 ounces, so these are a three ounce hot dog, essentially one and a half of a regular full-size hot dog. These Hebrew National Jumbo Dogs allow me to get a nice long spiral hot dog. Let me show you how to make a spiral hot dog. So once again, here are those Hebrew National Jumbo Beef Franks that I like to use. They're not found at every supermarket. I find them at Safeway or Lucky Supermarkets here in the San Francisco Bay Area. You may have to search for them a bit, they tend to be a little pricey when they're not on sale. I found these for $2.99 on sale for the 4th of July, so that was a great deal. So here's how you prep a spiral dog. I use a metal skewer. I find it's easier to go in and out of the hot dog, and you just run it up the center of the hot dog as best you can. You notice that's not exactly perfect, but it's good enough for our purposes. And you take a very sharp knife, and you just cut in a spiral pattern around the hot dog turning the hot dog and moving the knife a little bit back and forth. I'm not trying to scrub that nice sharp knife too hard on the metal skewer, so I try to take care not to do that too much. But turn the dog, move the knife, make sure you're using a very sharp knife, it'll make cutting the hot dog very easy. And continue turning and cutting until you go from one end all the way to the other. I'm almost done here. And you'll notice that when I remove this hot dog from the skewer, I have created basically six segments in this hot dog. The angle at which you cut determines how many segments you'll get. Now this is a little bit off screen, I apologize for that, but you'll notice right about here, I'm off center. So I pull that skewer back out about halfway and I move the hot dog a little bit to the right and I slide it back down again and I get it roughly in the center there. So. You can correct yourself if you find that you don't have the skewer centered. And now in this hot dog, you'll notice I'm gonna cut at a much shallower angle than I did on the first one. And we're gonna speed this up here because we know what the process is already. Just cutting and turning, cutting and turning, cutting and turning. But the angle is more shallow, so I'll get more segments. And when I remove this hot dog from the skewer, you'll see that I have eight segments. This is really my preference. I like to have more segments because you get a more springy, more stretched out spiral hot dog. Here's the hot dogs in a serving tray, ready to go out to the grill. You can do these the day before. Now here are the hot dogs on the grill. I'm doing this on my Summit 450 gas grill. I like to put the hot dogs in the groove of the grate so they don't roll around and I can just move them back and forth, back and forth to grill them. Here's a closer shot. You see they start to open up as they cook. And once they're done, you see they're quite springy. They're very floppy. Be very careful when you move it to the bun. You don't want them to break. You can stretch it out or push it in to make it fit the bun. And here are some finished spiral sliced hot dogs, ready for condiments, ready to be enjoyed. And here's a finished spiral sliced hot dog, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of pickle relish. And you can see how those condiments, they just slip right down into the grooves of that spiral hot dog. It's a great treat, a lot of fun. I hope you'll make yourself some spiral sliced hot dogs.